One of my favorite things that Florida is known for is all the exotic wildlife, both native and invasive, that roam this state. So I thought this would be the perfect setting for season three Snakes on the Brain. My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. Similar to the last season, I'm going to start off with one of the most common snakes in the state, the ever-present brown water snake. Unlike other water snakes, these tend to be a bit less defensive and aren't quite as prone to biting as other water snakes. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky with this one. Alright, he's under that rock. Yeah. There it is! We got one! We got the POV- oh god! POV- oh. And he bit me, <laughs> he got me. Check this out. What I'm holding right now is one of the most common water snakes in the state of Florida. This is the brown water snake. This is a species of water snake I've wanted to see for a long time because it's actually one of the largest species of water snake in the state of Florida. They can get big. But they not only live in Florida, they range pretty much a decent portion of the southeast. However, what you guys might be used to seeing are my water snake videos from Louisiana, and there you can find a diamondback water snake, which almost looks exactly like these, but instead of having diamonds, they these guys just kind of have regular rectangles and they do not overlap. It's not like you can find a diamondback water snake and a brown water snake at the same spot. This is basically just an eastern version of a diamondback water snake. This is the first one, first brown water snake I have ever seen. You can easily recognize it as a brown water snake from other water snake species because of those perfect rectangular blotches on its back. This one, you can barely see any pattern at all because it is actually in shed. What happens before they shed is they produce a substance, this kind of oily substance that is used to sort of of lubricate the shedding process so that the new layer can come off nice and easily and they don't cause any damage to the skin underneath. You can tell these apart from water moccasins because they have round pupils as opposed to vertical pupils. And um, you'll also notice that water moccasins do not have the perfect rectangular blotches on their back just like these guys have. Um, and this is about average size for an adult one of these snakes. This is probably about a two foot snake, maybe probably a little bit longer than that. These guys can probably get upwards of about five, maybe six feet. These snakes are commonly seen crossing roads at night like a lot of the other snakes out here. However, I actually found this snake under a rock and I think it was sleeping. These snakes can be out during the day and at night. Um, it just kind of depends on the time of year and how hot it gets during the day. Um, but yeah, these guys can be seen out crossing roads at night and they can also be seen out basking on branches during the day, usually hanging right over the water. So if they feel a predator is coming by, they can dip into the water and escape or if they see prey in the water, they can immediately dive down and get it. In case you guys are wondering, does this snake make a good pet? And the answer is absolutely not. This, this makes one of the worst pet snakes probably out there because just, just because they are a water snake. Water snakes in general just make horrible pets. Because they eat fish, it can be hard to find a source of fish as a food source for your water snake. And on top of that, they're not common in captivity anyway. If you see one in captivity, it was likely wild caught. But very cool to see in the wild. We're gonna let this water snake go and see what else we can find here in the Florida Everglades. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the brown water snake. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. If you found this water snake interesting, then you're in luck, because it only gets better from here. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like, and if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe. Yeah. What I'm holding right now, water snakes in general, <clears throat> bless me, um, I'm telling you, that light just fell. Not in shed. Huh? What one that's prettier and not in shed? Did you, find, did you just find another brown water snake? Much prettier. You just found another brown water snake? Yep. Where? Over by that bridge. It wasn't there before? And it just nope. came out? Yeah, that guy, I didn't realize until I took the picture how uh, zombified he is. He's very in blue. Okay. But this guy is almost freshly shed quality.